back to another feed scroll generator video for Autodesk Inventor. This time we're looking at a bit of troubleshooting for a particular kind of bottle shape that you might want to generate a shaft with. And this is a bottle shape we might call re-entrant. So if we take a look at this shape here, you can see the, the curvature here and then the curvature reverses and then goes back out again. And that's some re-entrancy there. The app's not designed to actually handle re-entrant bottle shapes. Um, let me show you a way that we can check that, um, whether it is in fact re-entrant or not. If I hit generate here and say yes. And if we check the bottle sketch itself, if I hit edit bottle shape, it's easy enough to drag a box around the geometry, right click and say display curvature. And if you've got any cones of curvature that go inside your sketch rather than outside the sketch, then you've got re-entrancy in the sketch and that needs to be handled a slightly different way, which is the purpose of this video here. Um, so to ruin the suspense again, the way that we get around this is we model two separate shafts, one for one shape, in this case a circular shape, another for the rectangular shape, and then we merge or really intersect the two shapes together to get a final combination shaft, if you will. So um, I'm going to finish this sketch and I'm going to save off this shaft as two separate shafts. So I'm going to hit save as, I'm going to call this merge example one and then I'll save it off again as a merge example uh, I'll call it a merge example one profile two it's a bit long winded but you'll get the idea let me just first show you what happens if we uh, do a, a, um, a preview build on this shaft so we can successfully do a preview build here it should be reasonably quick uh, as we've got the preview build on quite a low accuracy and this, this will just serve to show us the kind of geometry that we're actually after before we uh, before we use our, our work around of merging the shafts in a moment. Okay, so this is an accurate representation of the shaft really closely fitting the bottom shape that we've specified. So the preview shaft works fine. What we'd find, um, and I know this because I've created one previously, what we'd find if we um, tried to create a smooth shaft of this is that the very first loft that the app produced would have overlapping rails and profiles like this. So there's no CAD system on earth that's going to be able to, be able to create a loft out of those rails and curtains profiles. So simply put, we've got to merge the shafts as I said before. So I'm going to close this shaft. Let's leave this one open as a, an example of what the end goal is. And let's go and open our merge example one part that we just saved off. So I'm going to hit simulate up the top. Excuse me. I'm going to hit generate up the top here. I'm going to edit the bottle shape. And we can only have can merge as many as you want but in this case I need to delete all of the lines that are causing the re-entrancy there. And I can hit extend. I thought I could hit extend. Let's try that down the bottom here. Okay so let's delete that and see if we can extend this back again. It appears not so maybe we can drag it around. Okay well we've got a circle of size 24 millimeters here so to delete that and just simply draw a circle. It looks like it's a radius of 24 millimeters, so that's 48 millimeters diameter. So if we finish the sketch, say accept and hit generate and automatically rebuild the profile. We can simply just hit smooth build here. I'll take the accuracy up just a little bit so it's slightly more accurate. It's, nice, it's the simplest profile you can get, so I have it down as low as I can here. And I just start creating a smooth build. So that's merge example one. And now what we need to do is to open um, the, the other part file to create the, the second profile to merge with it. So what I'm going to do is actually start another session of Inventor altogether. Because um, as you're aware, hopefully um, by this point, 
create multiple shafts in one go simultaneously um, by starting multiple sessions of Inventor, as long as you've got a machine with multiple cores in it. So once this Inventor starts up, I'm going to close that and check my recent file. So just hit open, in fact, let's see, this is the one I want, merge example one, profile two. Inside here, I'm going to hit generate. And this time I want the rectangular profile, so I'm going to hit edit bottle shape and delete the other section. Let's see if I can extend these lines here, that's a bit better, that's worked this time. And there's my rectangular section, so I can finish the sketch, hit generate. And I can create the shaft with, with this bottle shape as well here. So I'm going to need a slightly higher accuracy again here. The bottle shape is a bit more complex, so we need a few more surfaces to handle it. And I can say a uh, smooth build here. Can create that. So I've got to save the part file first. So now my two different sessions of Inventor are both creating half of the end shaft for me. I can toggle between the two to uh, check the progress. I'll just pause this video now until something more interesting is happening on the screen. You can see I'm about 13-14% of the way through on this shaft. Okay, here's the rectangular shaft all completed in 300 seconds or so. If I switch over to the other session of Inventor, we have the circular one completed in less time, it's much quicker. Um, so I'm going to save merge example one. Let's close that other session of Inventor. We can head over into this session here. And all we need to do, if I just bring up my browser, to have disappeared for some reason. Um, all we need to do is to derive one part into the other part and subtract it. So it doesn't really matter which way around we do that. So I'll just go to the Manage tab in this part here and hit Derive and find the first part. So that's Merge Example 1, say OK. And all I need, I don't need the 3D sketches, I just need the finished scroll solid body there. So I'll say OK, say yes, and all I need to do now is subtract, or excuse me, um, intersect one with the other. So I'll go to 3D Model tab, Combine, and my base is the finished scroll, the tool body is the one I've just bought in, the derived solid body, and I want to intersect here. I'll say OK should get the resultant shape of the two of them combined. What can be useful is to change the solid body colours of one of them so you can see which bit has been subtracted from the other bit, but in this case I think it's pretty clear where each um, part of the shaft has come from. And um, we can simulate that. Let's just save this part. If we want to simulate it, of course our bottle shape at the moment is only the rectangular bottle shape show. so we would actually have to go back into this and add the circle if we wanted to see both of them so that won't take me a second to do actually I'll draw that uh, 48 millimeter circle on top of there we did have a fillet on there as well which I think was four or five mil let's just go with four mil for now that sketch, rebuild that tool profile, let's just turn on the solid body here, there we go, I can save this part and I should be able to do a simulation of both of the shapes now combined. Okay, let's drag this 
this slider and see we've got a good approximation. I have used a fairly low accuracy so we might want to increase that but you can see the pitch of the bottles changing and they finish up pretty close together uh, at the end just like how we've specified them to be. Okay, hope you find this useful, opens up some more possibilities for the kind of shafts that you can create with the app. Thanks for watching again.